go. What is new, YouTube? It's Moose. Bring you guys another Black Ops 3 live commentary video. Today, what I want to talk about is the new Awakening DLC. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, the first Black Ops 3 DLC is called Awakening, and it comes out February 2nd for the PS4, and then probably a month later for PC and, oh my god, for PC and Xbox. Now, why I decided to make a video today on the DLC is because they actually came out with, like, the uh, trailer, I guess you could call it, um, with the replacer, replacement, whatever this guy's name is, on the Call of Duty YouTube channel, and it just, it actually looks like a ton of fun. Now, I can't really say that I'm the biggest DLC fan in Call of Duty ever, because the last couple of Call of Duties, to be honest, have been quite the letdown with DLCs. Um, they've really hyped them up, but then when they came out, they just never really stuck. They weren't something I wanted to play, they weren't something I looked forward to, but Black Ops 3, I'm going to hype them up. I think this is going to be one of the best DLCs or one of the best years for DLCs that we've had in a long time. So if you guys want something to get excited about, get excited about the DLCs. Go out, buy that season pass. Because for some reason, I think Black Ops 3 and Treyarch are just going to have an awesome year of DLC. They're already remaking a Black Ops 2 map, Hijacked. It's called Skyjacked, and it's in the first DLC here, so I know they'll be remaking other Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, maybe World at War maps. We'll see about that. A little side note here. If they come out with anything from World at War, I will be pumped. I loved that game. That was the first Call of Duty I was really into. So I'm really, I'm really just a sucker for World at War stuff. So since this video is about the new DLC, let's go over the maps and what's actually going to be in it when you purchase it. So we have Skyjacked, which is a remake of Hijacked from Black Ops 2. And then we have Rise, which from the video kind of looked like it had all terrains. Like it had a jungle, it had some snow, it had some like urban. I don't even know what to think about that map. I can't really judge a map until I really see the layout of the map. And I'm sure Treyarch wouldn't let us down. Then the third one is Gauntlet, which looks a little bit more like an urban style map. And then the last one is called Splash. And I'm actually pretty pumped with this one. It's actually a water park. And if there's one thing I've ever wanted to do, it's play some COD at a water park. What kind of teammates are these? This is the kind of games I could put into. So there's four multiplayer maps, and finally there is a new Zombies chapter called Der Eisendrach. I don't really know how you pronounce it, obviously very German. But one thing they have said is that it picks up where the giant left off. Now I'm not really the biggest Zombies player ever, so I didn't really follow the story in the giant. Although I did have fun playing it. We get put into another game. Let me guess. Let me guess what's going to happen here. Seems about right. Fuck it, we're just playing a Team Deathmatch. I even joined in the middle of a Team Deathmatch. But, like I was saying earlier, I'm not the biggest Zombies player, I never really played the played it for the story, but I did have a lot of fun playing Zombies, and I have been having a lot of fun playing Zombies in Black Ops 3. Now a question a lot of people have is, will there be like new weapons coming from the Black Ops 3 DLC here? And I don't think it will, at least for this first one, because they would have already announced something, most likely. And if you guys have watched any videos on the subject, you guys know that a lot of YouTubers would try and like make a fake title about new guns coming just because people watch that video. But I want to be real with you guys, I do not think there will be guns coming in this first DLC, maybe later on, but they would most likely announce something like that well before now. So I'm sorry if you guys think there will be guns coming or if somebody got your hopes up, but this is just my opinion. Maybe, maybe they are having a secret gun come out, but it just wouldn't make any sense um, in my mind for that to happen. But new guns or not, I hope you guys are excited as I am for this new DLC. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think they will do a great job in it, and I think it should continue like that throughout the year. So I'm really looking forward to this DLC and the next DLCs coming out. We're getting really close to the Awakening DLC. I believe it's like a week away. I think it comes out the 2nd, February 2nd. So be on the lookout for that for PS4. And for Xbox and PC, guys, it'll be about a month later is my guess. That's what it usually is. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please click that like button down below. Hives everywhere. Some of you guys have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.